Hey, Jim Bergman here with MeasureQuick. Uh, just reading the blog a few minutes ago, and one of the guys was saying, "Hey, I uh, haven't heard from you guys for a while. What's up? At, uh, what's up with MeasureQuick? What are you guys doing?" And uh, well, you know, it's uh, it gets crazy around here sometimes. We we're always adding stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background you guys don't hear about or see. And well, you know, uh, without any further ado, I'll, I'll show you what the, the latest project has been. Some pretty cool stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click the home screen here, and we're going to open up MeasureQuick. And it's going to go through and check for updates. Now, what I'm going to show you, if you guys are going to take advantage of this, you get, you've got to make sure you completely shut down your app. I'm going to show you here how you do that. Double click your home button, swipe up, right? That'll, re, that'll restart your app. It, when it restarts, it's going to check for updates, and it'll download the new software, and you'll be ready to go. And you go, well, okay, well, what am I downloading? Why would I even care? Well, let's go to the toolbox here. Let's do an add new tools. It'll pull up a scan. And there you have it, Field Piece Job Link Probes. Now this is a really, really cool integration because I'm going to go ahead and hit the connect key here. And uh, it says connected. And let's go to the probe manager and take a look. You're going to see that uh, we have live data coming off the probes. And I know this is something a lot of you have been asking for for a long time. And uh, Field Piece came through. And here you go. So you're going to see a couple other things adding in here as we go because um, We've actually expanded the capability a little bit of what, they, what they're doing with the probes. And uh, if you add a third clamp probe in, we're getting discharge line temp. And if you add a third hydrometer in, we're getting outdoor air temp coming in live into the, into the application. So you can see here uh, all the data coming in live. We've got the battery strengths. We've got the signal strength indicators. We have the pressures, the temperatures coming in live. Those Bluetooth symbols that are changing color on the sides, those are indicating when uh, new data is coming in. So if it's been more than a couple seconds, they go to yellow, then to orange, and eventually to red if they uh, lose signal altogether, and then back to green when they get new data coming in so we can manage that a little bit uh, better and uh, actually hold some readings in so you don't ever get blanks on your screen on there. And if we go to the home screen now, you can see all the data coming in, pressures, temperatures, everything that you guys have wanted to see on there. I'll scroll through here. You can see our superheat and subcooling, liquid line temperatures, we can see our return air wet bulbs and dry bulbs. If we go into the into the uh, uh, performance section, we got our, our capacity. Uh, go in there, you can see we're doing our airflow calculations, estimated airflow calculations. So this is everything that you guys have been asking for with the uh, with the system, including stability indicators, um, the whole nine yards in here. So very very cool stuff. Because we're able to tie in with the um, with live data, well, that gives us a perfect excuse to add trending in here. So you can see right now I'm trending my sensible and latent capacity. I'll scroll through here. We, we have no EER and SEER because I haven't entered any electrical data. Our outdoor air temperature and uh, atmospheric pressure. We're pulling in our high and our low pressure. Our superheat, our subcooling. And you can tap on any one of these things. If I want to tap on the, uh, on the superheat, the, 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 the uh, red line there, it'll actually tell me what the what the current reading is so i can scroll through here and see this is averaging about nine degrees nine ten degrees on here as i'm going through looking at my superheat um, scroll through and look at approach liquid line temperature so again all all that data uh tied into trending now because we have live data coming in so it really really makes this thing uh pretty slick if i hit the home button here and go back to the home i can look at all this uh data now interestingly enough my approach here if you look at that you can see it's a negative approach and that's because this is a uh a window air conditioner. Let me flip this around so you guys can see this here. And uh, the window air conditioner actually has a uh, slinger that throws the humidity up into the up into the fan blade. So what we're seeing here in that return is uh, it's actually the, the water down in the bottom is cooling the liquid line temperature down below the uh, outdoor air temperature. But you can see here I've got uh, a, a suction line probe up here, a discharge line probe down here, a liquid line probe my high pressure probe, my low pressure probe. Um, right here I'm measuring the uh, return air, and just you know, in the, in the room right here. I've got a supply air probe going in the front, and then I'm measuring my outdoor air temperature here, just near the condenser. So we got all those readings coming in live here, and uh, you know, it's, it's good to go. Very, very slick system, very nice range on these things, and it really does uh, everything that you guys have been wanting to do, and it does it, uh, at a fraction of the cost of similar systems out there that make all these live measurements. So it's uh, very, very, um, it's, it's awesome. I mean, we just, we really, this is this is what we want to measure quick to do. And now you guys are getting a chance to see it and uh, 
it's available right now for you to use it. So if you've got any questions, comments, please uh, respond below. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the um, uh, Measure Quick on uh, Facebook, please uh, you know like our channel and um, keep us in the loop. Let us know what you think. It's an awesome addition. And uh, again, thank you very much to Field Peace for giving us the opportunity to do this. And uh, I think you guys will really have a good time with us. This is Jim Bergman with Measure Quick. Thanks a lot for watching.